Hello everyone. The nature of sensation. Wow, what a beautiful thought to bring out in all of us because it has such meaning for us in our lives. And today, I want to take you back a little bit to my near-death experience because that is what something that taught me in an experience about sensations and I'm sure that you have one in your life where you were experiencing some sensations that were indescribable. And so as I think through and back, you see this week I was listening to watching an NCIS program about a 95 year old man who was reliving World War II. He was aboard the USS Arizona and he had never been able to really tell people what it was like. And someone got him to do that in this program. And it brought out such emotion in me because it's such a sacred place that lives inside of us. When we take the memory and the trauma and the experiences that we have and put them in that reliving category, it reminded me, as I was thinking of myself and my near-death experience, of something that Dr. Eric was talking about the other morning when he was had a person that he was showing reconnective healing experience to and described it as a spray paint touching the truth, the reminder of ourself, the reminder of in between lifetimes that we call home. And when I relive my near-death experience where my spleen ruptured and it was taking excruciating pain and mixing it with ecstasy and bliss within seconds of each other. As my spleen ruptured, I remember that excruciating pain and screaming, but within seconds, I was in a place where it was beautiful. I was still looking at my body and I could describe to the doctors everything that took place there because my memory was working excellently, telling every single detail since every time I remember this experience that I told in my book, The Light Gap, that light, that gap of light that we can move in. And as I relive my experience, I realize it's that sacred place, that sacred place in me that took me so long to even share because the words just dissolve. And it was moving from that scene in the hospital room to the scene of beautiful colors, that spray paint that Dr. Eric talks about. The colors, I could hear those colors. I was moving towards sounds that I never heard before that were exquisitely spray painted in color, smell, taste. All that mixture. And as I was being pulled into a white light with no body to feel these senses, and yet, because I was a light entity, and I was absorbed in that amazing white light, and yet, when I relive that, my body vibrates from head to toe, in every corner, every space, in a way that is, again, indescribable, because words can't quite take us there. And then I can relive that place where my first reconnective healing session took me. And there it was, in a dark room, my eyes closed. And yet, I could see that white light. It brings out an emotion in me too. And tears sometimes come. Because I could see the hands, my hands, in this exquisite white light. Thank you.
get us close to that infinite space. That infinite space between lifetimes. All the drama dissolves. All <laughs> memories. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing with me today. We'll talk again.